Hi there, my name is Matt and I'm an intern in the Applications Engineering Department here at National Instruments. I've made this video to show you a week-long project I completed during my time here. My project is an ultrasonic musical instrument, combining ultrasound sensors, an NIMI Rio and a speaker. I've named this project My Ultra Harp. Let's take a look at how it works. My project uses four of these ultrasound modules to measure the distance to the user's hand. They're inexpensive and straightforward to interface with. To begin, we send a 10 microsecond pulse along the trig line of the module. This prompts the module to send out 840 kHz pulses, which are reflected by nearby objects. The final step occurs when the module detects an ultrasonic response. On the echo line, the module will output a pulse with width equal to the time of flight of the ultrasonic burst. It's then trivial to calculate the distance travelled, as distance equals speed multiplied by time. We know that the speed of sound is approximately 340 meters per second. We also know that the time is half of the pulse width, as the pulse width is the amount of time for the ultrasonic burst to go there and back again. With the distance calculated, I use it to define the frequency of a sine wave in my program, which I then output on a speaker to generate the sound. Now that you've had a look at how my project works, let's have a look at the platform that I used. As I mentioned at the start of the video, my project uses a MyRio, the new student design tool from National Instruments. The key feature of the MyRio that was useful for my project was the onboard FPGA chip, which has a clock rate of 40 MHz. This allowed me to program time-critical functionality essential to my project, such as the pulse width measurement logic. The great thing about using the MyRio's FPGA is that it's fully programmable with LabVIEW. Having access to this saved me huge amounts of time, as programming an FPGA is usually quite a complicated process. This is the LabVIEW code that I compiled down to the FPGA. I've made it modular with SubVI so it's very easy to see what's going on. As you can see, there are two loops, one for triggering the ultrasonic module, as I mentioned before, and the other to measure the response and process it into a sound. In the top loop, the functionality for each sensor is the same on each line. First off, we have the input of the measurement on these I.O. nodes. Then we have a pulse width measurement, which gives us the time of flight of the ultrasound waves. This is fed into the Mathematics VI, which converts the pulse into a distance measurement. We then generate a sine wave based on the calculated distance, and finally output it to the speaker. As you can see, it's straightforward to create this functionality, and the LabVIEW compiler does all the work moving it to the FPJ. So this is the final result, what I've made at the end of my project. As you can see, I have the four ultrasound sensors on an arc, allowing them to remain close together but not interfere with one another. Each sensor covers an octave of notes and the further away your hand moves, the higher the frequency within that octave. Let me show you. Playing with multiple notes either sounds like a 90s video game or repressed memories of dial-up internet. I personally quite like the techno feel I've created with this instrument. Let's see that in action. It almost sounds like I knew what I was doing. Even waving your hands around can really create some cool sounds with this project. To see other projects using the MyRio or find out about the device itself, visit ni.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it.